Today we're doing the Tesla large drive unit differential. Um, I've got a Quaife ABT limited slip diff to go in this unit, uh, but for the moment, just for a bit of fun, we're actually going to take the diff out and weld it up, which would be quite interesting. Um, they're fairly straightforward to take apart. We take off all the 13mm bolts all the way around there. Take off six 10mm bolts there. And you take off three torque bolts from in there. Uh, three retro now is just breaking it apart, which can take a bit of time. But obviously, make sure you've drained all the oil out. Luckily, that's all I got out of it. So it must have already been pre-drained before it came to me. Uh, this unit's a 2016 on 1600 miles. So quite new, um, but we'll see what it looks like inside. So we've now got the drive unit open. As you can see, we have the oil pump in here. Oil pickup is just there. Uh, when opening up, make sure you pivot off the back because there is a temperature sensing cable just there. You don't want to pull out, so just pivot backwards. As you can see, I've already removed the uh, open differential out. The Tesla open diff. I need to weld up. The plan is to just put some weld on these corners, both sides, and then actually put a cover plate over this in case it all goes horribly wrong, it won't kick stuff all around the gearbox. It sits in the centre of there, which I'm now going to weld round and then fill all this with weld. The reason I've had to do a plate is because the drive shafts go in and they actually come into the centerpiece. As you can see from the other side, which I'll show you shortly. You can see by doing that plate, it is uh, allowed space for the drive shaft to slot in where it does. So I can now weld up the rest of this and chuck a massive amount more weld inside of here and then put my cover plate over the outside in case it was to. Uh, explode on me through all the power and torque of the Tesla driving it. <laughs> to say I got a little bit carried away with the welder, but we don't want this thing breaking. So that's one side down and another one to go. So as you can see, uh, welding is done and finished. I've put this protective plate over the front just in case it gives up. It won't um, chuck bits of weld around the inside of the Tesla gearbox. Uh, yeah, all good. I'm just gonna clean off any weld spatter just to make sure they don't break free once it's in the drive unit and then we'll get it back in. Nothing back in, um, just working around the inside of here with a bit of brake cleaner and a blade just to remove the old sealant. Um, now, when you're doing this, there is a seal that sits there, which is that one. So make sure you put that back one back in and then down inside there. Just move around the other side. There's like a cardboard gasket. There's actually a seal that runs in a line along there. Just make sure that's all cleaned off as well. And same with this one here. Um, when I actually opened this up, the other side of this was actually blocked with sealant. So I don't actually think there was any coolant running through here. Um, which wouldn't have been too good for the drive unit long term. Luckily, um, we caught it on 1,600 miles rather than 16,000. Um, yeah, so once all that's cleared up, um, also on this side, sitting just there, there is a shim. Um, it might come out with the bearing, it might stay in place, but I'd obviously recommend making sure that's back in place. Um, and also give the oil pickup filter piece a quick clean off as well. I'm just getting the diff back in now. Um, when you put it in, this plate on the other side isn't actually even. There's a bigger gap on that edge, so make sure you line that up as you push it in. As you push it in, make sure you line the oil pump up because it drives off of the main ring gear and line it up to there. And then in theory, just slowly wobble it in and there you go. It drops in 
like so. Uh, do the bolts back up on there um, and then put gasket seal on one side all the way around. Obviously, as I said, make sure you don't block that uh, and then close it back up. So just for information, the ring gear bolts are locked tighted in uh, and they're done up to roughly, I think it's about 45 foot pounds. And then the outer casing bolts are about 20 foot pounds. Now these aren't exact Tesla numbers. This is just done off of the bolt size and the tensile strength of the bolt. Um, so just be aware that maybe, you know, slightly off on Tesla guidelines. Uh, but if anyone can get the Tesla guidelines on the Torx, please post them on this video uh, for other people to look at in the future. And it's all back together, um, all sealed up, bolts all torqued up. Uh, so I'm now going to give my subframe a clean with the jet wash just to get rid of all the uh, road dirt and stuff um, and then we will get the drive unit and drive shafts in and hopefully get it in the skyline.